Dale. Salam. Yes.
Ce n'est pas très les fautes, ce n'est pas très les fautes. C'est à moi. Ce n'est pas très les fautes, ce n'est pas très les fautes. I'm told it is drugged zone or something. Yes, I'm told uh, rumors are that uh, they are marking their territory. Mm. And uh, if you talk like uh, on behalf of the leaders, leaders maybe you call on the government to investigate Um, uh, When will that news? 
is come so that it will not come. No, 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 I am Joshua Cheptarus, the Executive Secretary Baringo uh, County, together with our uh, Treasurer, Mrs. Elizabeth Kaitan. We are standing here this afternoon with a lot of sadness. We have a lot of heavy hearts because Baringo is bleeding. And uh, we've just lost a teacher, a deputy head teacher, who was on duty. And uh, in the evening, as he was going to buy shopping in the uh, nearby center, that man was eliminated by bandits. And as Baringo teachers, we are mourning. We are mourning, given that it, was, it is hardly one week that we also lost some, uh, uh, some parents, a family, together with a pupil, a young, a, a young pupil of primary school. And uh, we are standing here this afternoon to condemn with the strongest terms possible, the continued killings which has happened in Baringo. With assurance of the government that they are going to disarm these bandits and any other person who is carrying illegal weapons, innocent people of Baringo are being killed. And uh, we want to as we pass our condolences to the family, we are asking teachers wherever they are, and we've repeated this one severally, that if you think that wherever the place you are leaving and the school you are teaching it is not safe, please wake up and go straight and directly to the director's office and report we do not want to lose any other teacher again, or a pupil, or any other person, because uh, Baringo should be safe. And I want to ask the government that these harms, which are being given in the name of KBR, or home cards, are meant to, to give security, but not to kill. But now, People are misusing and using the same to en eliminate innocent lives. We want to ask the government to disarm and cause enough security in Baringo or else teachers of this county will walk in the streets until we get security in Baringo. Baringo North, North so much is, Baringo North is bleeding. Baringo South is bleeding. And we've been saying the same here in here out. We want to ask our beloved president, who assured Baringo that when he ascends to power, we will never hear of any punditry, any killings, that now this is a wake up call. Please give order for these killings to stop immediately because we need teachers to serve in an environment which is secured. And that is what we are looking for, that is what we are waiting for. We need our teachers to be safe. In wherever place they are in, they should be safe. That is what we demand from this government. Thank you. Anything you want me to add? Yeah. Uh, 
Um, we, we are asking the government to give security to teachers because we know the only thing that a teacher is carrying is a pen and a book. And uh, if that is not the case, then these young teachers who are uh, coming into service should be also trained on how, how to use these um, uh, guns so that they can also defend themselves. Otherwise, for now, they are harmless. They are harmless. They need to be guarded by the security which, who are being paid by the taxpayers of this, of this government. Teachers require security. Thank you. Okay, um, ningependa kusema pole kwa familia ya mwalimu kwa sababu vile tulisikia hayo maneno tulusinika sana. Hata siku ya leo ni Jumatatu sijui watoto waliambiwa namna gani kwa sababu watoto wakisikia mwalimu yao yuko tena ni chungu sana. So sisi kama walimu tumetofika sana kwa kupotesa mwalimu wenzetu. Ningependa tu kusema pole na vile our executive secretary amesema Sisi walimu tuungane na tuone vile tutaesa kusaidiana. Namba tu serikali wasaidia walimu na wapatie walimu security. Santeni. Thank you. Thank you.